Hey there, it's Chris Doyle at Alderman Chevrolet GMC in Rutland, Vermont, Vermont's favorite car dealership. Thank you for your inquiry on this 2022 Chevrolet Tahoe Z71, finished off in the black. Really nice looking vehicle. Uh, the Tahoe was redesigned two, three years back, and the Z71, my personal favorite version of it. It is a trim level now uh, for the car, just a little bit more aggressive looking, uh, cut in the bumper is a little bit steeper it's designed for off-roading in case you're ever actually going to do that just a little bit of a a, a different look z71 badges those red tow hooks in the front really nice looking car this is a car bravo certified vehicle as you can tell by the little car bravo license plate there that means that in addition to whatever remains on the factory warranties uh, and there is some time and miles remaining Add another six months, 6,000 miles to the bumper to bumper. So that's 130 some point checklist that the car goes through to make sure that everything is in tip top condition because that additional warranty comes from GM, not from us. So they wanna make sure it's in good shape. This is a one owner vehicle, uh, pretty low mileage as you'll see in just about a minute. Very, very good condition all the way through, but don't take my word for it, take a look at it. I always wanna check out the spots that get the wear and tear on any kind of used vehicle. Uh, tires, rims, very good shape. Love the blacked out rims on this particular one. Blacked out Tahoe logos as well. Blacked out Chevy logo on the front and the back. Excellent treads. I don't know if this is a new tire or just really close to it, but just something you're not gonna have to be spending money on anytime soon. Again, uh, underneath, very good condition overall. And I'll kind of show you as we go around. The Tahoe, the second biggest vehicle that Chevrolet makes, the Tahoe and its slightly bigger brother, the Suburban. Only real difference there is the Suburban's about a foot and a half longer, all in that cargo area. So uh, this is a big truck-based SUV, but don't let the word truck fool you. Uh, it is a great ride, even with the off-road package. Very, very smooth, very quiet. Again, with the latest iteration of these, uh, just really nice to drive. This is uh, the version with the captain's chairs in the middle. Most Tahoes are set up this way. So two, two, and in the back, you've got a full-sized bench seat for three folks with good amount of leg room. Uh, you know, when you move up to something the size of the Tahoe, you have a real third row where you can actually put people you like in for an extended period of time, uh, and they're gonna be comfortable. I'm gonna sit in here just so you can see here, this is the Tri-Zone Automatic Climate Control, so you can control it here in the back, and we do have extra USB ports and a power port. There you go, for the folks in the second row. Uh, we're going to get a closer look at the dashboard in just a minute, uh, but I will point out, <laughs> we don't have too many blue sky days, but kind of have one right now, and you've got a nice big panoramic moon roof to be able to enjoy that. You can close it, of course, but why would you want to do that on a day like today? Uh, this is, again, the Z71 package, so it's going to be nicely equipped without going crazy. So Bose sound system, uh, power seats, uh, we do have the memory seating here. Uh, for your folks uh, behind the wheel. There's that two-speed transfer case, two-wheel drive, all-wheel drive, four-wheel drive, high and low, and even different driving modes, which you can see tow haul, off-road, sport, and normal. Very easy to adjust it for itself as you go. Uh, lane keep assist, parking assist, if you're backing up, getting a little too close to something, uh, it's gonna warn you automatic emergency braking in this Tahoe as well. We've got our wireless charger for our phone. Uh, the dual zone climate control and the heated seats up front. And uh, this is configurable. I have it kind of on the default from the factory, but all of this can be changed. You can decide what you want to see on the left, on the right, in the center, even the gauges underneath. As you can see, mileage just over 29,000 miles. Very good mileage on here too. And then over in the big center screen here, touch screen, your audio, AM, FM, satellite radio, uh, Google Assistant and Play Store capability, Android Auto and Apple CarPlay. I mean, there's a lot to bring up there <laughs> if I put this in reverse because there is my electronic precision shift that's been in on all of the Tahoes and Suburbans for the last few years. You're going to see three different views here. Very big HD camera in the back, big backup screen, big vehicle, so it's nice to be able to have that. And three different views, either your standard view, your line pointed directly at the hitch in the back should you so equip it 
Uh, and same thing for trailering. If you're going to be backing something up behind it and attaching it to a hitch, uh, that's kind of just looking straight down the back of the car. Um, so it makes it a whole lot easier to do it yourself if need be. So just as easy as pushing a button to uh, make that change there too. This does have the 5.3 liter V8 in this as most Tahos do. Very, very capable engine. Same V8 that's in all of our trucks. And there is a 10 speed uh, automatic transmission too. So very nice, smooth shifting car. Like I said, very easy driving car. The fact that it's large, don't let that fool you. Uh, really, really nice ride. You kind of have to see it for yourself. Now I've got that third row up here. Pretty good amount of cargo space, even with the third row all the way up. A little bit of extra storage room underneath for things that tend to roll around. Uh, but of course you can split or fold the whole thing down and then you've got a massive amount of room and still a ton of room for four passengers passengers up front. So Chevy wants to make it easy. That's for sure. There you go. That nice blacked out Tahoe, the blacked out uh, Chevy bow tie there in the back. Again, focusing on condition because let's not lose track of that. Very good as it is on the other side. Rims are in very good shape. Tires are in very good shape. The assist steps look very good. Um, just nicely nicely maintained, which is one of the reasons why we really wanted to keep this. Oh, and I, <laughs> it's tall, so I needed to point this out to you. This even does have the cross rails going left to right across the top of the vehicle already on, uh, already attached. So one less thing to worry about if you'd like to have that on there or very easy to take off at times you don't need it. So there you go. There's the 2022 Chevrolet Tahoe Z71 four-wheel drive. Now, if you'd like to learn more about this Tahoe, if you're watching this video on Facebook, you can click on the Learn More button. If you're watching it on YouTube, you can click on the link in the comments below, or better yet, just come see it in person. We're at 65 Windcrest Road in Rutland, Vermont, just off Route 7 South. Hope to see you soon.